Hello everybody, Quilty Marine here. So we're about to bind our t-shirt quilt, okay? So we, we selected our bind already, all right? A bind that I made for another quilt a while ago. I have plenty of it left over, but I don't think I had that much. So we'll probably be ending this bind with a little piece of another bind, okay? So remember, when we start our bind, we wanna leave at least a 10 inch, 10 to 12 inches off, so that when we come around the other side, we can match it up and use our binding tool to uh, close down this bind, okay? All right, so here we go. Got my clips in place. And we're just gonna start, quarter inch seam allowance, all right? All right, so on this machine, just in case you're wondering, right there is quarter inch seam allowance. It tells you right there. That's my quarter inch seam allowance. So if your fabric is running along that edge, That'll put your needle at a quarter inch seam on this machine. Okay, remember some machines you can adjust which way the needle goes that way or that way. Okay, so we're going with a quarter inch on on this. So let's get it started here. Right there. All right. All right. Got my clips here. You know I like my clips, right? Slide that down. Make sure my materials together. And we are binding, okay? All right, those of you who've seen me do my corners before, you know how the corners go. I'm just going to work my way to the corner and once we once we round that corner, I'll just finish it off and I'll show you what it looks like when we come to a close, okay? But remember, keep your quarter inch seam, all right? My clips you don't have to get, all right? These clips, I give a four out of five needles. They are great, I love using them. But using um, pins works too, you could pin, all right? And um, I, I do pin sometimes, but I've just been hooked on these clips lately, okay? Slide that down. You know, when I'm doing the bind, I usually work with just about five, maybe four, four clips, sometimes three. You don't need any more than that for a bind, okay? If you're, if you're just, like I do, I stitch to the clip, then I'll shift it down, okay? Pull that clip off. The thing I like about the clips is they make sure that that bottom layer or the top of your quilt stays in place. You know, sometimes when I, you know, before I started using them, you know, the uh, this would slide out of place and then the stitch would go through and it would look like that. It would, the stitch would go through this part and this part wouldn't have been touched. And that sends me up a wall, okay? So with the clips, it makes sure it stays in place. I'm sure my patience has a lot to do with it as well. But, cause you know, once I get to this part, I'm ready to fly. Okay, so we're about to do this corner. All right, so remember how I do corners, right? I'm gonna come up to about a quarter of an inch from the corner and then I'm gonna turn off. Turn off. So I'm gonna lift my, my needles down. I'm gonna turn my quilt a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna want to come to this corner right here. Put my needle down. Well, I'll put my presser foot down. And I'm just gonna come to the corner. All right, let's cut that. All right. So you see how I went here, and then I cut off to an angle, right? Because we're gonna pull this back and bind our corner here. All right, so we're gonna tuck that under. See how we tuck this under? Let's lay this flat here. I'm gonna tuck that under. I want this top edge to be even with this edge, okay? I'm gonna tuck that under here. Just like that, all right? 
See that fold? Let me push it down here. See this fold? See how it's folded like that? And now we're just going to stitch this way, okay? Now, something that I haven't done before, let's try this. Why don't you put it up here? Let's put a clip on it and see what happens here. Hold it in place. See that? Let's check the underside so we don't miss anything. See that? All right. That looks like, that looks close enough for government work to me. All right. That's cool right there. All right, we're just gonna stitch up this way. Oh, I threw it off the red. Hold on here. And I'm just gonna stitch this corner and then I'll do the rest of the quilt. And then when I when it's time to close it up, I'll I'll come back, make another video of about how to close it up with the binding tool, which is a great tool to have. Really great tool. All right, here we go. Let's try this out here. All right, I love this knee bar, all right? This knee bar is awesome. Never used one before, but it's so awesome. I love it. Lift that lift that thing up, and you're just, you can, you're able to maneuver your materials with both hands instead of one hand. I love that. Look at me. I'm going in about a knee bar. The knee bars have probably been around longer than I've been alive. Okay, so here we go. Right there. I'm just gonna come right on here. All right, we are in there, it looks like. So let's clip this. Let's clip here. Let's see what happens here. All right, let's take a look at it real quick. See that? That's our corner, all right? Because when we come around the other side, this will be folded over, all right? Let me do the other side. I'll show you when we get there, but yeah, the corner is done, okay? This is what you want to do. You want to leave enough fabric in the corner for you to wrap it around so that when you come stitching up the other way, I don't know, let me try it here. So when you come stitching this way, when it's folded over, you bring this part like that, and you have a 45 degree on the corner. I'm sorry. It'll be a 45 degree there. I'll show it to you when. You can see that, right? You can see that, right? Like a 45 in the corner. All right? That's what we're going for. Well, not right now. We still need to stitch one side, okay? So when we come back, uh, we'll, be, we'll be using the binding tool, um, and then we will finish this thing up close it up okay okay everybody uh, I reloaded a bobbin okay so I continued on I made it to the corner you remember how we do corners right so we get to about a quarter of an inch from the corner and then we bend that thing right around right to the edge all right so I don't know if you can see that all right so here's a nice little tool this thing right here all right these little uh, shaving kind of razor thing you put batteries in it and it this thing is amazing for taking off these little, see that? All right, this is a nice little tool, see that? Don't overuse it though, because then you'll start cutting your own thread. All right, but taking those little hairy pieces off, this thing is amazing for that. All right, honorable mention. Okay, so if you can find one of these things, they're usually like maybe about, you know, $10 or less. You can find them at Walmart, Wally World, you know? And just keep on standby as one of your tools you use, okay? I give this definitely uh, five pins, five needles out of five, okay? Because it comes in handy when I start getting the hairiness over here, all right? Remember, you got to think outside the box sometimes, all right? Don't follow the rules. Make your own rules up. This is We're not making quilts to win competitions. We're making them for our family members, and they don't know any better. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, so here we go. We're at the corner, all right? So we bend the corner right here. All right, so you remember how we do it, right? We're just gonna pull out. We're just gonna bring this corner up. Remember, pinch pinch right here makes it easier. Bring that corner up right there. Okay, so those of you who don't have, who don't have the high speed, low drag clips like I do, I'm gonna show you how I do it without it, okay? 
So we're gonna bend this up here. I'm sorry, I'm at a different angle than I usually am here. Bend that up. I want this this top edge to be in line with the edge right here. Okay. I'm, I'm making myself dizzy. Let me put it the way I want to. All right, this is the way we should do it. Bring this edge up right here. Okay. See how see how this edge is in line with the edge of of my um bind. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna use a pin because I've been showing clips, and that's unfair to those of you who don't have clips. Okay. Remember, we're all on the same team, the quilting team. Dilly dilly. All right, so I got a pin here, okay? So I'm just gonna pin across the top, okay? I know some of you are thinking, that's a huge pin. It is. It's, um, I forget what they call it, all right? I don't, I don't pay attention to that kind of thing, all right? We're trying to get the mission done, all right? No one cares, no one cares how you got it done. Get it done. Marines know what I'm talking about. You jarheads know what I mean. Get the mission done. I don't care if you gotta take a poop. Get it done. All right, here we go. Look at that. So that's with the pin. See that? Now it's straight across. All right. Um. Wait a minute. Let's. Let's. Uh. That's with the pin going the wrong way. Okay. I'm kind of brain dead this morning. Let's go the other way so that we can start stitching down that line. Okay. I'm gonna push. <clears throat> I'm gonna push this in a little further down so that I can start my stitch right here. If I had it. A little further down then the pin would be in the way all right it's early in the morning okay let me pull this pin all right it's such a huge pin kind of grabbed the wrong pin don't want to have pin in me look at this see that so now we're just going to stitch right down here and the corner shall be completed all right but i'm still going to put a clip in here okay Clip is in, dilly dilly. Look at that. All right, so let's see if we can get by this pinhead here. I know all the experts are like, all the experts are probably like, what is this dude doing? I do my own thing, I'm sorry. There we go. That's called money, quarter inch, baby. Pass the pin. All right, we're pushing it down to our clip here. We're gonna need to put another clip on because I like clips and I cannot lie. Here we go. Look at this. One quarter inch seam. All right, so because this this bind we made all right we're gonna we're not gonna be using the binding tool because we don't need to because this this bind has vertical lines in it already see the vertical lines where i connected it and all that okay so that's all we're gonna do we're gonna cut and connect all right so the next quote we'll use our quilting tool we don't need it on this one because we're going to connect the bind together at one of these vertical lines eventually okay she purrs like a kitten doesn't she man this thing is awesome we'll, we'll be doing a review on the brother pq 1500 sl real soon real real soon okay so right now we're just gonna listen to her purr all right so we're near the end here okay so all i'm gonna do is <clears throat> look where look where my see you see where this bind goes all right see how it goes right here and then I, this is where i started at on my bind so it's going to be a simple fix so i'm just gonna <clears throat> on this line i'm gonna unthread this all right rip this rip the seam here across here and I'm gonna rip the seam across here right and then we're gonna match the pink and the plaid together and that'll be done okay 
All right, so should I show that? I'm thinking I'm gonna show that, good. That's the plan, okay? Well, later on down the road, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll use the, the, the binding tool. And, cause you know, usually with a, with a bind, you know, it's usually one solid color, you know, going all the way around. It's one piece of fabric going all the way around. But because I made this bind out of scraps and stuff, it, I don't need the binding tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and match this line right here, all right, just well detach, and this line right here, where this lavender is, okay? I'll put them together, and then that'll be it. I'll, it'll be done. The bind will be completed all the way around. We'll roll it around, and we'll do the other side, and we'll box this puppy up, okay? So we'll be back once I put these parts together. Okay, so we put the two pieces together, these two right here. All right, they're together. And we're just gonna stitch on to meet to finish off the side of the bind, okay? Quarter inch to the clip. stitch here ensure our safety and cut lift up all right so we're done we're not, well we're not done done we're going to roll this thing over just like that we're going to stitch the other side okay and then we shall be done all right so now we're going to bring our clips in we're going to roll this thing over clip it stitch it ship it and that will be the t-shirt quote so we can move on all right so we're just gonna roll over see that roll and I'm just gonna clip clip it okay and I'm gonna stitch right down the seam here we're gonna make our own seam going down this way it's gonna show through the other side you know that right but there's a way where you can stitch in the ditch from the other from the front okay so if we roll it over we're gonna try to we're gonna try that, okay? We're gonna try to stitch in the ditch from the front side too, okay? I'm gonna bust out some clips here. Okay, so when we get back, what I'm gonna do is show you the stitching on the other side. And we're gonna we're gonna be done. Alright? This thing has taken nine hundred centuries. It shouldn't have. But you know, we got the holidays. Speaking of holidays. Happy holiday. No, that's too early for that. Huh? Happy holidays to everybody. Happy New Year's. Thanks for all the subscribers. We haven't even done a year yet. And next year is going to be awesome. Okay, we've got a new, new machine we're starting off the new year with. New ideas. Okay, look out for the honorable mentions. I'm going to be mentioning some of my subscribers who have had some great ideas and who helped me get better as a quilter. Okay. So when we come back, we'll start stitching this puppy and getting it up out of here. Okay, so we started, we rolled, we did our rollover, all right? We started closing the uh, the bind. We started closing our bind, all right? So this is the other side of the bind. So we're stitching to try to keep our stitch line, you know, kind of in a ditch. It's a little hard for me, all right? I'm not an expert at this. I just love to do it, okay? So... What I'm trying to do is maintain maybe I'm not more not a quarter of an inch but almost a half inch because a half inch on this side will put me at a quarter of an inch on this side okay so let's give it a shot here pin. all right so look I put a, a clip on but I also put a pin on for those of you who have pins all right no snobs allowed, all right? We're quilters, not snobs, all right? So here's a pin. Remember, when you get to the pin, pull your pin, all right? And then keep on going. All right, I haven't forgot how to pin, and I haven't forgotten my pinning friends, all right? No snobs allowed in quilting. Here we go. All right, clamp. 
Let me set a pin for you so you can see which way I'm going with pins. All right, so I go, you can go probably go this way. There's enough room to go both ways. Um, I just have a habit of pinning towards the, the uh, foot, okay? Put the pin in, push forward, and it's gonna hold for you, all right? Pinners. Get to the needle head or the pin head, pull the pin. Put it in your pin cushion and keep on going, all right? Smarter, not harder, okay? No rules to this. Make your own rules, all right? Too many people with too many rules. Have fun with it. Right, let's take a look, all right? That's not bad. That's a good look, okay? I would take that. If you gave it to me, I'd take it, all right? I don't know what a quilting snob would think, but I think that's awesome, all right? You're doing great. You are doing really, really good, all right? So, we're gonna push to a corner. I'm gonna show you how we do a corner. <clears throat> Been going a little slow here. You wanna, <clears throat> you wanna slow down at this point, okay? When I, when I first started quilting, when my first quilts, which are still around, okay, because I haven't been doing this very long, I got to this part, and I would start flying and making all kinds of mistakes. It was ugly, all right? So slow down here. All right. Those are the dogs, okay? <laughs> they don't have... We don't have banshees in the house. Those are dogs. Those are our dogs playing. All right, so remember on the last one, remember how we do corners, right? We roll over the corner. We, we're going to come straight down this line right here, all right? Right off, all right? Let's backstitch. Let's cut our line. I sound like a fisherman, huh? Let's cut our line. <laughs> All right, so you see how we went straight, right? We went straight off. Now we're just going to fold over, and we're just going to start from here, okay? Real easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so we're going to, went straight off. Now we're doing that 45, see that 45? See the 45 right there? All right, that's all we're doing. Don't let it intimidate you. And if it intimidates you, send me an email, okay? We'll get through it together because that's what we want to do. We want to quilt together, all right? It's a quilt journey, not a, not a sprint, okay? All right, so I clipped this because I want you to be able to clip too here. It'll give you confidence in starting your stitch, but let me show you something else. Let me pull this off. Let me get a pin, all right? For those of you a pin, all right? We are equal opportunity quilters here, okay? So we're going to pin this. I'm gonna go straight across, okay? I'm gonna pin in here. And watch me stab myself to death. Oh, I missed it, hold on. Let's move down a little further. There we go. So we got a pin in to help you start your stitch, okay? Don't run over the pin. Um, it's not a good look if you run over the pin because you might strike the pin with your needle. Just start your stitch. That's all you need to do, okay? Set down here. All right, I'm at the pin. Let me pull my pin. All right, let's move on. All right, let's pull this up here so you can take a look at it before I go anywhere. You see that? See the corner? All right? I know there's a lot going on there and I'm sure I'd probably lose points if I submitted it to a competition. Ooh, I'm so scared. All right, but we're not doing that. I'm making this for friends, one of you, all right? It's, it's the time that you put in for it, all right? I started quilting because I needed the time, I needed the space, I needed the attention to detail to take me away from you know some of the, some of the things that were going on in my brain housing group all right and Colton helps me so don't judge me 
Don't, no, don't judge my quilts. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright. Yeah, so group meetings, some of the doctors. Some doctors are good, you know. I didn't want to medicate. I, I you know, I self-medicated for a while. And this actually saved my life, I think, you know. I really do think it did. And I love it. And I won't stop doing it, okay. So this is my journey in quilting and i'm sharing it with you because it's part of me okay all right so here we go let's go ahead she just purrs you hear that she just purrs man she loves it my wife my wife did she did really really great getting this she really did really did the only way i would get rid of this is if there was an aston martin vulcan sitting outside guys know what that is Look it up, Aston Martin Vulcan. That car is so awesome. But it's definitely a lottery car, okay? <laughs> it's not like you walk into an Aston Martin dealer and say, uh, you, you got a Vulcan sitting around? Nah, you don't do that. All right, people. So that's the corner, all right? So if you get one corner, you get them all, I think. So we're going to wrap this thing up. Remember, look. It's your quilt. Stay, you know, make your own box. Think out of the box, okay? It's only fabric. It's only thread. That's why I say that, because you're overthinking it. Don't overthink it, all right? These are your babies that you're creating. Everyone with all these rules and, oh, you got to do this or you got to do that. No, you don't, okay? It's stitch the fabric together, put your name on it, and hand it over to somebody else. They'll love it, okay? So next time we see each other, we'll be starting a new quilt. But actually, the reason why we haven't started a new quilt is because my wife hasn't chosen her colors for this quilt, all right? So we're going to blame her for this, the next one, okay? All right, so I'm going to finish this up, close it down, and thank you so much, all right? We had a great half of a year, I think it was, we spent. We're going to spend more years together, okay? So here we go, all right? Our anniversary will be coming up soon. Get me something nice. <laughs> Remember, it's only fabric, it's only thread. Thank you so much.